the first is called The Corners of My Bed Smell Like Different Men. I just broke up with my boyfriend of five and a half years, so I've been writing a lot of angry ex-girlfriend poems. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so... Okay. The corners of my bed smell like different men. The corners of my bed smell like different men I have invited to help me forget you, to mask your scent. Bottom left, the artist whose name I forget, his large, rough hands that smelled like turpentine and clay. The sheets between my legs like that baby-faced bartender who left bite marks on my thighs, then kissed them back to bruise. The bank teller, his blue shirt and bluer tie, wrapped around my neck twice and flung to the bottom right. He fucked like we used to fight. The bed lays twisted and unmade. I can wring out the sweat and bodies, but won't. Let the odors seep into the mattress. Let the stench permeate anything to drive you out. Last week I fucked a guy because you share a name. I wanted to scream it over and over at the ceiling, rake it up and down his spine like I used to yours. It was almost the same. I let him come twice and scratched you a letter bright red into his back. I wake up naked, sweaty, sheets stuck to my skin. I tug back a small tear into a fist-sized hole and I look inside. It's space enough to bury my fist-sized heart. I consider it. Then there was that college kid, linguistics, eager to do it, kept saying do it, only to stammer something thereafter about soccer and homework and Dustin Hoffman, his face flushed, panting, his pants still around his ankles, oh, his mismatched socks. I made him a sandwich and drove him to his dorm room. Did I tell you he wanted to call me mommy? Yesterday, I kissed a father of two and left him confused in a parking lot after we did it in the back of his sob. Fucking elsewhere seemed beside the point, and for the first time, I wanted to be alone in bed. The truth is, for months I craved you. I mourned you in celibacy as though that made a difference. I wanted to smell you more than to kiss you. I wanted to burrow and coil up with you in silence, the way animals speak with their bodies. I made home and waited and waited. I don't love you anymore, and I want to feel mammalian again. Once, I almost did. I slept with a man who offered me breakfast. Real slow, I let him lean into the soft and the raw. We danced in the kitchen, and he was gone by morning. Hating him made me hate you more. Darling, I fucked myself into a cage. I thought about lighting a funeral pyre in my bedroom, fed at memories of your head in my lap, dirty sheets, all my love and want and mistakes, your belongings, the bed, me. I fell asleep on fire, your scent still mine. I dreamt and dreamt and dreamt I was dreaming, excited to show you my love on fire, the fish-shaped heart, my new sob, the black hole in my chest healing. I woke up. My body tucked into the crook of your arm, my face smashed against your armpit, and you still, so still, in your sleep and breathing, our chests rising and falling as though we were again a singular thing. We laid this way until dream gave way to greed. I opened my eyes, I wanted to see you, because knowing doesn't trump this kind of hope, the one in hand with heartbreak, the one that believes at least a little in its own magic. No magic under lid, just my two arms wrapped around my body, the ache of the cold wood floor. No magic, just me, clutching fistfuls of my body where you linger still. My skin, my hair, all the flesh and softness. The broken animal of my body turned inward, cornered, groping to touch, to be felt, choking on breathfuls of you, only you, your scent in everyone, everything. Thank you. That was kind of depressing. Sorry. All right, I have another depressing piece for you guys. Yeah, yeah let's be sad together. All right. Um, this one is called, and am I like enunciating okay? I tend to mumble. All right, good. All right. <laughs> um, all right, this one's called Club Med. <laughs> When Jim lost his mind, he drove to the Redwoods seeking answers. When Lisa broke her own heart, she too headed north and laid down to sleep. Dave left Wyoming because the sky was too big to hold. Smashed up around him, there was nobody there. 
Now he sits at home in Berkeley, listening to traffic. He says he plays piano, but I don't believe him. All of these things I could not write in there with them. Around the table, littered with crayons and feelings, we learn to name our darkness, how to make friends with the void, the one in the hole in your chest. You could only access the fourth floor by exiting on the third and waiting for the special lift. For fun, we hovered in the hall to see who would come out of which door, looking for something of ourselves in them, wondering if we could spot one of our own. The way we arrived, buckled, kicking, asleep and dreaming, failures all like us. Katie knew the color codes, gray for restraint, blue for a sprinter, they put Charlie on an MAOI, which meant he had to give up gluten, no soy sauce or bread, so be it. We'd give up anything for answers, we would. Remeron made Angela sleepy, Dan lost 10 pounds on Wellbutrin, Lexapro calmed the waves of terror, Risperidol made the voices stop. All these things I tried to write over and over again. We spoke in hushed tones in the cafeteria, ignored those who kept a wide berth around the table, climbed, claimed by the mental health kids on floor three. When things don't make sense, the company of others like you might be enough to keep going. It might. One day, Charlie didn't come back and they wouldn't tell us where. I stalked up and down the hall looking for clues. I found a cigarette butt that I swear was his it just felt that way. I left that night thinking about Charlie and the elevator and Jim at home thinking about the Redwoods. It was enough to make me want a different way, a different road than the one I took. Look where it got me. If you are as confused as I am, don't head north. You'll end up here. I wanted to ask Jim if it existed at all. North, I mean where I am told the pines grow tall, where I am told the pines have answers. Thank you.